guys, we have multiple breaking news coming out. We're gonna start with this one first. Scientists say a new study suggests a potentially hostile alien spacecraft measuring nearly seven miles long could be on a trajectory towards Earth. We have more breaking news coming out. NASA alert. An asteroid 2025 L one set for close Earth encounter on July 30th, that's today, at 16,900 miles per hour. Scientists track rare near-Earth flyby. Alright, so this one here, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, it's going to whiz past Earth approximately, I think it's going to be like almost 2 million miles away from Earth atmosphere. So it's not even going to hit us. I, I, again, you, this one here, we're just going to skip. So July 30th, uh, this thing is moving 16,900 miles per hour. Now, you have the uh, the three I slash Atlas, you know, that spacecraft alien stuff they're talking about. That is moving 140,000 miles per hour. 140,000. Wow. And uh, we're going to focus more on this news here. All right. So you have uh, an asteroid 2024. Why are four about the size of a 15 story building has a small chance of hitting the moon in 2032? If it does, it could create a one kilometer wide crater, <whistles> the largest lunar impact in 5,000 years, ejecting debris into space, some of which may reach Earth. And the impact could also disrupt satellites in low Earth orbit for days or even months. So we're going to focus on this one here. So the moon could get hit. And those debris, well, it could rain fire. It's like stars falling from the heavens. And uh, everything just falling. Uh, satellites getting hit, smashed. Um, so again, this is some serious stuff here, guys. We're going to get to this one. I mean, we're going to talk more about this one here. Before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to help and support the channel, we do have the Cash App link, and the PayPal link, and the comments box, and also description box. Again, thank you so much for your support. Your support is what keeps us on air. Thank you for that, guys. Thank you. All right, so let me go back with this one here really quick. So Wazzler just posted this today, July 30th, 2025, at 12.04 p.m. Um, so scientists is putting out new information. You have two scientists are saying this is not a spacecraft, UFO, whatever. This is just a comet uh, or an asteroid, space rock that's heading towards night again it's heading towards us but it's not gonna hit us it's just heading towards our region but it's not a ufo alien spaceship then you have another two scientists saying that uh, there's a six or seven percent chance that this thing could be a ufo spaceship all right so we're just gonna have to wait and see this coming november all right i think late november or early december at the same time you have baba you know the the woman the blind woman, she passed away back in 1998. She left some prophecy behind, and one of the prophecy is this year, 2025, there's going to be a light, a new light in the sky. And it's going to happen during during a sporting event. It's going to happen, and it's, you know, it's going to be broadcast live worldwide, this new light that's going to appear. So the sporting event, the biggest one is November, which is Baseball World Series. And can that happen? Well, one thing I tell you guys, number one, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, backing up these claim. I think uh, the UFO stuff and Baba is all phony baloney stuff. I'm just putting out this information. Uh, number two, uh, again, the only prophets that we see is the one in the Old Testament. Uh, yes, we did have some prophet John the Baptist. I believe he was a prophet. Uh, also, the two witnesses. That's coming in the last days. Those are the prophets. But when it comes to 
again to us we have the covenant the gospel and that's jesus christ we are told to go out and make disciples you know who said that two very important men that many people believe that were angels told the fisherman why are you looking up for the same man that was taken will return now go out and make disciples that's it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, again, Lewis, there's a lot of prophets. No, no, no. These prophets will not be on YouTube making videos. If there were true prophets, they'd be out in the street just like Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, just like Daniel. They would be out in the streets. They would be out in the streets holding signs and, uh, you know, filled with the Holy Spirit, not making videos and monetizing God's prophecy. It just, no, not like that. So what happens if an asteroid the size of a 15-story building crashes into the moon in 2020 and 2032? While the chances of nearly discovered asteroid 2024 YR4 hitting the moon in seven years are slim, there is currently a 96% chance it won't happen. An impact of this, uh, this size would not come without consequences for the moon astronauts and spacecraft orbiting earth so but if it if it does hit the moon then we're going to be seeing some stuff falling from from the heavens a new study submitted for review by scientists with the university of western ontario and at Abasca university in canada took observation from the ja james webb space telescope an asteroid 2024 YR4 and use simulation to you uh, to show how much lunar debris will be ejected out into space sending pieces of the moon towards earth give me a second here hmm. so it's out there and it's going to take seven years for that to reach our region, to reach uh, you know, close to the moon. After its initial discovery late last year, the asteroid appeared to have a small chance of impacting Earth, warranting international attention, and jumping to the highest asteroid threat ever given on the Torino impact hazard scale. By February, more ground-based observation of the asteroid helped clear the warnings to Earth, but the moon still faces possible impact. Earlier this year, NASA James Webb Space Telescope helped scientists determine that the asteroid is between 175 and 220 feet in diameter if asteroid 2024 YR4 crashes into the moon, it would create a crater more than half a mile in diameter, becoming the largest impact in about 5,000 years. According to, to the study, current cal calculations show if it happens, an impact would occur on the southern hemisphere. The researcher said that this impact would threaten satellites in low Earth orbit for days or up to a few months and send a fraction of the ejecta towards Earth. So it's going to hit that southern part of the moon. The current impact corridor for 2024 YR4, the yellow, projected on a map of the moon's near side from Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Any lunar eclipse, uh, excuse me, any lunar, imagine, hold on guys, imagine this thing hits during a blood moon or lunar eclipse. Just imagine that, getting hit. So any lunar debris that make it within Earth atmosphere could create a meteor shower event over the planet. Now the resulting sh meteor shower could last a few days and be spe uh, spectacular 
though the number of visible meteors somewhat muted by the low entry space, or excuse me, speed of ejecta. With more than 10,000 active satellites, 10,000 satellites, wow. In low Earth orbit and more than 25,000 pieces of space junk, researchers believe an asteroid strike to the moon could spell trouble for satellites, operators, given the very large total exposed area for satellites by 2032, it becomes possible that hundreds to thousands of impact from MM-sized debris ejected by a lunar impact from 2024 YR4 will be experienced across the entire satellite fleet, the study Arthur wrote. Such impact may damage satellite but are small enough to generally not end active missions or cause breakups. We don't know that, scientists. We don't know that. The Bible says the stars will fall from the heavens. It also referred to angels. The angels will fall from the heaven, the fallen angels. Now it says here, the researchers say material from the moon could be a serious hazard to moon orbiting spacecraft such as NASA's Lunar Gateway, a planned orbiting station for astronauts, and an even greater danger to our lunar surface operations. Asteroid 2024 YR4 has moved behind the sun, limiting any new observation until 2028. Scientists say those new observations in a few years will help improve lunar impact predictions. Wow. So that's where we at. That is where we at. Now guys, I want to bring this up really quick here. Alright, so we're going to go back to the stellar object confirm aliens all right so I, I, again like i said i don't believe in none of this and i'm not trying to help to push this narrative stuff again i already told you guys that uh, i don't believe in none of this uh i believe that uh, there are fallen angels there are demons if something falls from the heavens when i again the heavens are referred to space the heavens element which is space all right if anything falls from space uh obviously the only thing that fell from space was fallen angels uh, again, but people want to say it's UFO. I, again, I don't go by that. The only aliens is us Christians. We are alien to this world. We are foreigners. Our citizenship is the kingdom of heaven. Interstellar. Object confirmed aliens? What well, this was... Why say 2025? Why does it say December 31st, 2025? Okay, so 12% chance being an alien and hand, uh, uh, coming close to Earth. All right. 12% chance. People really want this thing to be an alien. People really want this thing to be an alien. <laughs> so um, it's crazy. People want to see aliens, but a lot of people don't want to hear about Jesus Christ. Scientists say a new study suggests a potentially hostile alien spacecraft measuring nearly seven miles long could be on a trajectory towards Earth. This is a latest update here. So what are your thoughts, guys? Leave comments down below. And um, this is where we are right now. Check out the videos I posted today about the uh, strong earthquake that struck uh, Russia. I mean, they're still getting hit. They're still getting hit. Aftershock. I mean, those those earthquakes are brutal. Breaking news. We have more breaking news. You guys seen this picture? All right. Okay, so it says here we got breaking news update. Seven mile alien craft locked on Earth. 94 days until it disappears behind the sun. It's the size of a Manhattan. Well, this is the size of Mount Everest now. 
moving at 130,000 plus mile per hour actually is 140,000 now uh, and showing non-gravitational acceleration with no commentary outgassing Harvard uh, I'm gonna skip that information there but his name is Avi Loeb he's the one that said that this thing is an alien it might be on a reconnaissance mission this is a blind date from another star We shouldn't assume anything. Uh, one of the most puzzling signs, this thing is accelerating in ways that defy physics. And it's not acting like a comet. So we got 94 days before it vanishes behind the sun. What in the world is heading towards us? Space rock. 94 days. So 94 days from, give me a second. Ninety-four days is November first. November first on a Saturday, twenty twenty-five. Is this gonna happen on a Sabbath? All right, so November first, but we were told that it's gonna be like uh, you know late November, early December. But anyway, guys, this is where we are right now. I would keep it updated with all these news here. Please share the video and uh, check out the ones I posted today. The links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Oh, so I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.